and inside the spoken word of God is this substance called faith. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 8. Well, here we can see that it is by grace that you are saved. And I know preacher upon preacher upon preacher upon preacher who've made their entire ministries out of preaching the message of grace. And God bless them. But here it says, by grace you are saved through faith. Well, grace is free. Grace literally meaning unmerited favor. You didn't do anything for it. It was unmerited. It was given to you freely. Grace is free. But faith, my friend, is not free. There is a price. Listen, there is a price to be paid for faith. It takes work to get it. John chapter 6, verse 29. Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God. The work of God that you believe on him whom he hath sent so it's the work of God that you believe it's work to believe oh nobody wants to hear that that it's work to believe but I'm telling you that it is and if you put in the work you get the results you get the faith which is another word for belief if you don't put in the work you don't get the results you don't get the belief and so tonight I'm going to talk about how you can know whether you're in faith or not Hebrews chapter 4 verse 11 let us labor what's another word for labor work let us labor therefore to enter into that rest lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief so belief is where the rest is and it takes labor or work to get into belief and we can know by this if we do it that we're in faith and if we don't do it then we're not in faith so you may ask am I in faith well let's take a quiz I'll show you by the end of this message if you stick around how you can know whether you're in faith or not now faith is not a feeling it's not a thought I think I'm in faith fear is a feeling I feel afraid but it's not said of faith I feel faith because faith is not feeling you don't oh I feel faith no you say I believe so if we are going to go from fear of thinking and, and feeling I fear by thinking something I fear by feeling something and into actual faith we need to know what faith is you can't know that you're in faith if you don't know what faith is Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 now faith is you see that wouldn't it be great if the Bible told us what faith is faith is the substance of things it's a substance of things it's a substance of things verse 3 through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the Word of God and what word are we talking about we're talking about specifically the spoken Word of God and inside 
the spoken word of God is this substance called faith and in the spoken word of God is the substance of things things you want not things you don't want that would be fear fear is the foreboding of things you don't want faith is belief in the thing that you do want so here it says through faith we understand which gives us the first indication of what it means to be in faith you have to have this understanding that faith is in the spoken word of God faith is in the spoken word of God you have to understand that do you understand this if I'm going to have faith I need to know what it is I should know where it is then if I can acquire it somehow I would know I had it right you think it's something else it's not anything else it is it is a substance that's in the Word of God and specifically in the spoken Word of God Romans chapter 10 and verse 17 says faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the Word of God now why would faith cometh to you by hearing the Word of God because that's where it is faith is in the Word of God and we were talking about the spoken Word of God what happens when the Word of God is spoken you hear it can you hear the non spoken Word of God no we hear the spoken Word of God and when we hear the spoken Word of God faith cometh to you so we know a few things already that faith actual faith is in the Word of God and predominantly we're talking about the spoken Word of God and then the spoken Word of God comes to you by hearing do you understand this where faith comes from and how it comes to you and we're getting even closer to knowing whether I'm in faith or not if you don't understand these two very specific concrete structures of faith you're just pretending that you're in faith frankly you're just in hope I'm not talking about hoping you have faith I'm talking about knowing whether you are in faith or not so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the Word of God if faith cometh to you by hearing the Word of God there must have been faith in the Word of God and it came to you via the vehicle of hearing it which meant it had to be spoken first Is this too difficult there's a substance of things that comes to you by the vehicle of hearing God's Word spoken are you getting this let me say that again there is a substance of things that comes to you by the vehicle of the spoken Word of God if that happens it came to you so how do I know whether I'm in faith or not or have faith or not is whether you understood what I just said and had that happen Does this make sense otherwise it's not faith you're just making something up and here we go into one of my main beliefs as a Holy Ghost worshiper the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we walk with him by saying words I believe in saying God's Word that's where my belief is Matthew chapter 4 verse 4 Jesus said it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God what does proceed out of the mouth words that proceed out of the mouth mean spoken words so Jesus said you're going to live your life would be by the mechanism of the spoken Word of God and you can have a lesser life or a greater life 
well you'll have a greater life if you have more of the spoken word of God because that's how you're going to live Proverbs chapter 4 verse 20 incline thine ear unto my sayings his sayings would be the spoken word of God you're going to incline your ear to his sayings Does this make sense verse 22 for they my sayings his words spoken are life to those that find them and health or medicine it says in the margin to all their flesh that's living by the spoken word of God I believe in saying God's word the said word of God is life to me for I have found it the said word of God is healing to all my flesh the said word of God is youth renewal to all my flesh the said word of God is prosperity in my bank account because I live by every spoken word of God does this make sense and what's in those spoken words of God the substance of things faith how do I know whether I'm in faith mark chapter 11 verse 22 Jesus answered and said unto them have the faith of God or have the God kind of faith either way you look at it he's saying have faith verse 23 for verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say so you could go right here stop right here at the beginning of this verse and go whosoever shall not say shall not have the faith of God but it says whosoever shall say are you a whosoever whosoever shall say unto the mountain be thou removed be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that's faith shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he saith I believe in saithing God's Word that's where faith is I believe those things I say come to pass and I have whatever I say if I'm in the midst of this the saying and believing the things I say come to pass I am in faith if it's anything else it's not faith it's you trying to think that you're in faith it's you trying to feel like you're in faith but you're not it's believing the words said come to pass is being in faith are you here you have to put in the work the saying if you put in the work the saying you get the results the believing if you don't put in the work you don't get the results this is the way this is the way and you want it this way you want it God's way one hour of speaking God's Word something changes it begins to put in a process of faith coming and reacting in you on you and around you Jesus said could you not pray with me one hour people would say oh I'm so tired of being afraid I'm tired of being scared but you don't have to be put in the work get the results you put in the work which is what saying God's Word then you get the results of that word producing faith in you and for you and giving substance to the thing you desired faith is a force that comes from the Word of God spoken this is big news faith is a force that comes from the Word of God spoken it's already in the Word of God but when you speak his word it comes forth out of that word into you belief 
and into your circumstances it the Word of God has an origin it originated somewhere where did this faith that's in the Word of God come from where did it originate it originated with God himself speaking it God released his own faith into it and it already exists the thing spoken already exists but faith comes to you by hearing the spoken word and this is the victory that overcomes the world even our faith first John 5 4 it overcomes the world even our faith this is the way and in this God is no respecter of persons it works for whosoever will whosoever will what whosoever will say remember we read that speaking is doing the work it is the righteousness of faith hearing just happens did you notice that what did you have to do to hear you just had to be there well how close are you to being there when you're speaking God's Word pretty close I've done this over and over again it's not what I think about the word when I say it it's not what I feel about the word when I say it it's whether I say it and say it enough until something happens on the inside of me because I've been hearing it the whole time belief comes belief from the Word of God goes into you and causes the thing the substance of the thing desired to come to pass and the Holy Ghost would say to you this is how I do things but I have no one to speak for me let me do the work let's go back to this question am I in faith if we can check these off number one do I know that faith is a substance that's in the Word of God and already exists whatever that promise is already has the power within itself to bring itself to pass do I know that do I understand that that's what Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3 said we understand if I know faith is a substance that's in the Word of God I can check that off yep I know that number two I believe in the said Word of God that's what I'm believing in I'm not just believing in the Word of God I'm believing in the said Word of God whosoever shall say believe what he said will come to pass so I understand faith is in the Word of God it's a substance it already exists there and then I believe in the said word of God are you here I'm talking about how to know whether you're in faith or not and that faith comes to me by hearing how's it gonna come to you by hearing it will be because it's been spoken this isn't that difficult and number three have you said the Word of God so if we know that the substance of faith is in the Word of God and we believe in the spoken Word of God and have you said the Word of God enough for belief to come the belief that was in that word to come into you that's the labor that's the work saying it until and if so then you my friend are in faith isn't this good news if not well then you aren't but there's always hope and you'd be surprised at how many times I've said this to people but they've not put this to work for them they've not put in the work they want the thing said but they don't want to say the thing get that they want the thing said but they're not willing to put in the work to say the thing so I encourage you pick one thing one scripture one scripture pick one scripture 
one thing that you really want and then prove it prove this which I've said get that one thing to work for you take that verse of Scripture and speak it commit to speaking it I would say even up to an hour every day until it comes to pass for you you will go through many changes in fact you will be the one that changes into the thing said one thing you really want one scripture one scripture is this annoying yet one scripture why do you say it that way because I know people they have 45 scriptures and none of them working get one to work for you and you will never go back did I get this one verse to work for me yes then you will be like me I have found that the most precious possession that I have is the ability to speak in agreement with God's Word the ability to speak God's Word the value of which is equal to the thing said the most precious thing is the ability to speak God's Word out my mouth its value is equal to the thing said Holy Ghost I thank you for blessing these people that they've heard your word this evening and their life has been changed and they now know how to walk with you by speaking in agreement with your word and having your faith come out of that word and go into them and radically change their entire life we give you the glory for it in Jesus name Amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you you are a living God and the words I say that are your words come to pass quickly in my life I am blessed I am healed and I am wealthy and my youth is renewed in Jesus name Amen in heaven Jesus at his right